Are you or a loved one disabled? Do you feel alone, lost, and confused as to how to win your social security case? If you're watching this video, it's probably because you have so many questions and you're desperately looking for the answers. Hi, my name is Avi Leibovic, and I'm the owner at In Benefits for All and the lead attorney at Avi Leibovic and Associates. Over the course of my 20-year career, I've overseen the processing and screening of over 500,000 disability cases, working with the largest hospitals, neighborhood clinics, primary care physicians, and even individuals who had no access to care at all, my strategies for how to win the case have made me one of the top experts in social security law in the entire nation. My life and my career were going great. And then one day it all came crashing down. It started first with some abdominal pains. And before I knew it, I'd been admitted to the hospital several times and I required multiple surgeries. I found myself unable to work and disabled and in desperate need of my own benefits. I understand exactly how you feel. I was in your shoes. And I'm going to take you through the process and help you and give you everything that I know so that you can win your case. I'm recovered and I'm back at work. And I have a newfound passion for helping disabled people because I myself have been there too. Call our office today for a free screening and to see how we can help you with your social security case. At the same time, enjoy these videos and webinars that we've prepared to you to help you understand how to win your social security case. Hi everyone, this is Avi Leibovic and you're watching another amazing webinar brought to you by and Benefits for All where we teach you how to win your social security disability case without having to pay the cost of an expensive attorney. I'm standing right in Tennessee, the soundtrack of America made in Tennessee. So when you think about the soundtrack of America, if someone had to say, give me a really patriotic song, maybe someone might say, well, you know, the national anthem. Someone may say, no, America, you know, America, America, right? America the Beautiful. What other patriotic songs? Maybe Yankee Doodle came to town, right? Maybe Yankee Doodle. There's so many American songs that are just intrinsic. Uh, wherever country that song plays in, it has a certain sound, it has a certain feeling. People know that it's American. So Tennessee here, when it says the soundtrack of America, you know what I think of? I used to play a little piano and a little guitar when I was younger. When I think of a soundtrack, when I think of music, when I think of melodies, my mind starts thinking not just of the, of the uh, tempo of the music, but I also think of, the, of the, generally the big notes, the seven notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Di, Da, right? And then it goes to the next octave. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So in order to have a soundtrack, in order to make a music and a melody, you have to go through those seven notes in some combination or played together in order to come up with a song. So why is that? important for where we are right here right now because I think when dealing with Social Security at some point or another you're gonna to have to go through seven main actors seven main characters seven main players that you're going to have to deal with no different than when you're dealing with a song and you have to do ABCDEFG you have to go through these seven people let's go through them very quickly and do a quick pop quiz on everyone to see if you've been watching the webinars and to see if you remember so the first title of a character is what? Is the claimant. Okay, you are the claimant. The person of filing for a claim for benefits, whether it's SSI or SSDI, is the claimant. You're going to see on every application, on all the letters, claimant name, claimant name, claimant name, claimant name. And I can't tell you how many people come to me and they say, who's the claimant? Well, I, well she's just asking my name. No, you are the claimant, so that's number one. The second character in the play, so to speak, is we're going to call the district office. The district office is your local office based on your zip code that primarily receives all of the uh, documentation in the forms and processes it correctly. The district office in general works at reviewing your documentation and determining if you have eligibility for what? For citizenship, for residency, for income and for resources. Citizenship, residency, income and resources. If you're unclear on what the eligibility 
criteria is for each of those four things, residence, residency, citizenship, income and resources, then watch the webinar and you'll have a full understanding on how to qualify for each of them. So our second actor is who? Is a district office. The third actor that you're going to deal with is someone called DDS or uh, Disability Determination Services. DDS, Disability Determination Services. Who are they? Those are the medical examiners who are trained only for one thing, to review your medical records and determine if you are disabled. Again, whereas the district office only does residency, citizenship, income and resources, DDS or Disability Determination Services, they only deal with the medical records. So even though you submit the medical records to the district office, the district office takes those medical records and forwards it over to DDS, right, in your state or the agency that reviews it. In some cases, you have a, uh, a single person reviewer, right, a single case reviewer. Um, I don't want to get into that right now because it doesn't apply here to the great state of uh, Tennessee, Soundtrack of America. But the district office forwards over the medical records and they make the determination, the medical examiners at DDS, and then they forward it back to the district office. Okay, so the third character is DDS. Everyone's with me? Claim it number one. District office number two, DDS number three. Who's the fourth character? The fourth character is the Office of Disability Adjudication and Review, the ODAR office. The ODAR office is the office that processes and prepares everything for a hearing before an administrative law judge. You have to remember, some of the states, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna have an application and then a reconsideration, and if the reconsideration gets denied, you're gonna request a hearing, right, before an administrative law judge, and the ODAR office is gonna come into play. There are some states that are called prototype or redesigned states where they've eliminated the reconsideration, but the result is really still the same because instead of having a reconsideration, you basically have a pre-decision interview at the district office in place of the reconsideration. You try to work it out with the um, district office and give them whatever you're missing, whatever you need. And if you get denied there, you skip over the reconsideration, you go straight to the hearing at the ODAR with the administrative law judge. So again, the fourth actor is the ODAR, Office of Disability Adjudication and Review. The next actor, my friends, we're gonna call is the SSA Appeals Council. What does that mean, the Appeals Council? The Appeals Council is yet another uh, component of Social Security Administration where the Appeals Council is exclusively there just for reviewing all appeals made on the decision of the administrative law judge. Now you can't just say, I disagree with the judge. You're going to have to watch the webinar to see clearly all the criteria that is available to you in order to make an appeal on the judge's unfavorable decision to the Appeals Council. Generally, it comes down to you know, uh, an error of law that the judge made or some type of, um, uh, when the judge is singling you out, I'm forgetting the word, one second over here, um, some unfair, um, the word is just slipping, some unfair um, decisions that the judge made particularly against you, right? Or some arbitrary uh, and capricious decision and, and an abuse and or an abuse of power. That's the word, an abuse of power. So the fifth person who's going to play a role is the Social Security Appeals Council. Everyone still with me? Claimant, District Office, Department uh, Disability Determination Services, DDS, ODR, SSA Appeals Council. The next person who's going to play a role, potentially if you make it this far, is Federal District Court. Once again, my friends, if you don't win an application, if you don't win a reconsideration, if you don't win before the judge, and if you don't even get the case overturned before, um, before the Social Security Appeals Council, you can appeal it yet again to where? Federal District Court. The Federal District Court is there to allow you to appeal the Social Security Appeals Council. You will need an attorney to do that, although these webinars are set up for you to um, do the application and the administrative law process. I would strongly recommend that you hire an attorney, a trained attorney, to help you with the Appeals Council, uh, with, this, with the Federal District Court, and only with an, an attorney in Federal Court would you even have a chance, because the paperwork you need to submit, uh, the laws, the rules, the procedures, is, it takes a little bit of training. And finally, the seventh actor that you have is hopefully the one that you will come to love and, and be introduced to sooner rather than later, and that is the Payment Center. Whether you win at the application level, whether you win at the reconsideration level, whether you win at the hearing level, whether you win at the Court of Appeals level, not the Court of Appeals, the SSA uh, Appeals Council or the Federal District Court, if you win your case, your case, the approval gets sent to the SSA Payment Center, and the Payment Center for your region 
we'll go ahead and we'll calculate how much benefits are owed to you for SSI or for SSDI. They will determine if there are any offsets that need to be taken away. If you don't know what an offset is, you need to watch the webinar video on the offsets. And the payment center is the one who's gonna go ahead and issue you your payment. So as we get ready to go back on the road, traveling to Tennessee, looking forward to a terrific day tomorrow, uh, just seeing Tennessee and, and, and taking it all in. We're reminded over here as you hear the music in the background, the banjo playing. We're reminded again of the soundtrack of America. And when we think of the soundtrack, we think of the primary notes that are used in every octave, in every key. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Seven notes. Seven notes for you musicians out there, and seven notes for you non-musicians out there who've always wondered, how does songs work? How does the music work together? So you need to understand that just like Tennessee is the soundtrack of America with seven notes, you will be dealing with seven primary actors. The claimant is you, the district office, disability determination services, the ODAR office, the, the, um, the, uh, the ODAR office, the SSA court of, uh, I keep confusing, the SSA uh, appeals council, the federal district court, and last but not least, the payment center. Those are the seven primary actors. If you know those actors and if you know what each one does, you will never get lost in the process. You just have to ask yourself, where am I in the chronology of my case? Where am I in the large, you know, in the large administrative process? Uh, if I'm at the appeals council, then I know where I'm at. If I'm at the district office, I know where I'm at. If I'm at the ODAR, I know where I'm at. If I'm talking to DDS, I know exactly where I'm at. I know how to go. I have my bearings on a map. Once again, friends, my name is Avi Leibovic. I've come into your town, I'm coming to your state, I'm coming to your city, your neighborhood, your community. I'm meeting the local uh, Social Security District Office uh, staff. I'm trying to get together with some of the ODAR staff, getting a feel for your community so when you speak to me on the phone, you can understand that I was here, I was in your state, I was in your neighborhood. You're not just picking me randomly off the internet. Okay? WWW and Benefits for All. You can do this if you're feeling up to it. If you're not feeling up to it, I encourage you to get the help of someone but I think that you can do this because these webinars are designed for you at your request. I've represented over 100,000 claimants in my career, and all of them have told me that they wish that they knew how to do this. And you know what? I'm teaching it to you. I'm giving this to you. It's here for the taking. You just have to sit and listen and absorb and digest and let it marinate, and you're going to be fine. And you know what? If you get stuck and you have a question, you just call our office. The number is on the bottom on the website. Once again, www.ambenefitsforall.com. I know that working together, if you trust me, if you trust me, I will teach you how to win your social security disability case without having to pay the cost of an expensive attorney. Thank you very much, Tennessee. Always great to be here. Looking forward to a great day tomorrow. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.